Welcome Guaveza, uh, it's Commander Gearside again, and uh, we will be looking at some possibilities for what the new reveals for uh, the rest of the range of the Crute are going to be. And in, uh, I have on good information, i.e. other YouTubers, we only saw half the range. So there will be five other Crute models that will be revealed to us. And I, I've got a pretty good guess on what they're going to be. The first is going to be pretty obvious. Well, maybe not a pretty good guess, but a fun speculation. First one is going to be Crute Hounds, because we've already seen the new Crute Hounds in the Farstalker Kinban, but we haven't gotten a full squad yet. So I'm willing to bet that they're going to give us a full range of all the Crute Hounds that we'll be able to field. The other two that uh, aren't in the, the squad with the Kinban, if we're lucky, maybe they might give us a full set of 12, but or something, I don't know, more than like just a simple four, because it's kind of a pain to find little fours, but oh well, Games Workshop likes their money. The next one that I think uh, is going to be up, which is also pretty dang obvious, it's the lizard thing that we saw, the, the one crew riding a lizard, and I'm willing to bet this is an HQ, because that fits in theme with all the other things that were shown with it, so I'm willing to bet that it'll be some sort of character that you'll be able to attach either to the Hounds or maybe to the Rampager Narlocks, which would be pretty cool, give them some buffs in that department. So those two are pretty uh, pretty obvious as uh, what we're going to get. The next three, much more speculative, um, and this is me just guessing to be completely honest, so if you like what I'm thinking then uh, let me know, and if not you can, you can tell me I'm stupid. First and foremost, I'd be willing to bet that there's probably transport, because every new faction has their like ride that they go around in. But the only catch is, I don't find it too likely for the crew to actually have a transport, because it's just not really their speed. Like, they're more of, like, hunting pack animals. They don't really seem like the kind that would, that, like, they'd saddle up, but they wouldn't, you know, have a, a ship or something. Like, it'd be weird to have crew in a rhino, or in a devilfish, or uh, in whatever little star things that the, well, actually, you know, a, an open star thingy that the Eldar ride in. I could see Crute totally hijacking the riding. But I digress. Uh, I, I don't really know. It, 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 I think they could have a transport, but it doesn't really seem like they're hunting thing. Maybe something like Scrap, or scavenged, you know? Like, uh, that they hastily ramshackle put together. I'd be willing to put a bet that that's what they'd be riding on. So, I don't know. Maybe they might have something like that, or the best thing I heard was something from Invasive Wargaming, and, uh, the idea of like a Krutox pulling like a sleigh or something, which would be kind of cool, but it doesn't sound, it doesn't seem like Krut. We haven't really heard anything like that in uh, the lore, really, so I, I'd be fairly skeptical of something like that, but who knows? Like, maybe they have a transport. That, that'd be my guess. If I had to guess, it would probably be the transport. Um, but now, one that I'm most certain that this is actually going to happen is the Great Narlock. I believe the Great Narlock is coming back. We're going to have a big old beastie centerpiece that we can put in the army, and it's going to be majestic and great. Like, we'll be able to mount big guns on it, and we'll be able to, like, run them up into the midfield and totally wreck base. This will make the melee Tau viable. Totally viable. It'll be great. I know it's true, not Tau, but they're under the same umbrella. Uh, in order to run melee Tau, you have to run no Tau, Commander Farsight, and a whole bunch of crew. It's going to be great. <laughs> But I, I know it. I know it. it has to happen. We have to get the Great Narlock back. It's going to be great. I'm so hyped. Um, I'm a little worried, to be completely honest. Like, I don't know uh, how they're going to make it work out, because I remember the other Great Narlock was uh, on, like, a tiny little base and is, like, falling over it, over forward. I've seen some really cool 3D sculpts of it, so I'm, I'm really excited for whatever they have planned for... Uh, the Great Narlock to be and what we'll be able to do with it. That actually might be the transport for all we know, um, because you see a lot of crew hanging off the sides of it and it's got like baggage harnesses and whatnot. Um, so who knows, maybe that will be our uh, our uh, our transport, we'll just riding Great Narlocks around. Uh, but I'm willing to bet it'll probably be a bit more like dedicated to like being beefy and attacking, probably less of the, the carrying people around. So that's four. Currently we're sitting at four. We got the hounds, we got the weird lizard thing that might ride with the hounds or the or the, the rampagers. Um, transport, probably. I don't really know what they're going to do, but I, I put money on a transport. Um, and the Great Narlock. So then we have the last one. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. We have a data sheet for Narlock riders. So logically, 
Well, not Yitzhak Legends, but you know, they still gave it to us in uh, 10th edition. So logically, we would have Narlock Riders come back and redo their skull. I don't really believe that. And I'll tell you why. I don't believe that because we have the Rampagers. And the, the Krutok's Rampagers fill the role that the Narlocks filled. Which was like the more dedicated cavalry. Whereas the Krutox in the new showing very clearly is more of a gun turret. Which is what the Krutox have been traditionally. Sure, they like it's a little weird mix. Like in on the data sheets, the Krutox has always been better than the Narlock in melee combat. But now we've got more of a dedicated shooting Krutox. And we've got the Rampagers, which are the dedicated melee Krutox. And the Narlocks were your dedicated melee. They really only had like a crew rifle crew riding on them. So I'm willing to bet that uh, out of everything we're going to see, uh, the, the Narlocks probably won't come back. But I'd be happy to be wrong. It'd be cool if there were Narlocks. Don't get me wrong. I, I'd love that. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of doubt it. I'd be willing to bet that we... I, I want to say another uh, crew infantry, but the fact of the matter is I just don't see it happening. Because we already have our normal crew uh, carnivores, and... They're not going to do the ones that add wings onto the back like they had a long time ago because we have Espid now and that'd be kind of, you know, uh, redundant. And we're not going to have a specific sniper uh, crude squad because that's exactly what uh, their new kill team is. Like, it, the new kill team has precision on all their weapons and like weak lids and stuff. That is inherently going to make them just like the, the sniping squad. They already are. So I don't see the point in um, really like a, a new infantry unit. I, I just, I, I, I really don't see it. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of sad. It would be nice if they had like um, a crew like a specific dedicated melee unit or something like that. But I, I don't know, like a, a little shaman's like court, so to speak. Do you get the, can you imagine what I'm saying? You know, like, uh, like seasoned veteran warriors, you know, that'd be cool. Like, um, how the Eldar have their, their, uh, dire Avengers for the Guardians. I think that's what they are. Uh, if we, as Kroot, got, like, our own little elite cadre thing, uh, going on with, like, extra war paint and extra, like, medals and stuff and, like, better guns and, like, they hit harder in close combat with, like, all having the big ritual blades and stuff, that would be cool. I don't really see that happening. Uh, I'd like that, but, um, I think that we might get, um, you know, like, we had the croup bird a hot sec ago. I don't think we get a flock of croup birds, but I think maybe we get, like, kind of a flying croup unit, you know? Where the croup can, are, like, riding some croup bird looking thing. Uh, because they, they already have the bird aesthetic. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some sort of, like, flying thing. Not a flyer, not like planes or anything, but definitely a flying croup bird. That would be pretty cool. Otherwise, maybe we've got more lizard jockeys. But if I had to bet, I, I'd say either we've got the cool um, Kroot Shaman thing or uh, Kroot Jockeys riding uh, Kroot Birds. So, might be a little bit redundant, but who knows? It'd be pretty cool. I, I, I get a lot of that, like a uh, Kroot version of Piranhas and Tetris. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Anyways, uh, this is all just speculation, obviously, but I think it, whatever it ends up being, it'd be really cool. So, uh, thanks for coming in, my Guavesa, and, uh, uh, this... This is, uh, I think this is going to be everything. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts or think it might be something different. But uh, you all have a, hope your day goes for the greater good.